Um, actually, a little bit of both. You know, mm-hmm. we we start. Remember, we started with walking. Mm-hmm. Then you know, I go to the Zumba. Mm-hmm. Ooh. So yeah. you know, and then eating time. right, and then you know, I'm <laughs> constantly on the go. You know how moms do, constantly right. on the go. Right. right. Now, I mean, it's it, not coming as fast as I want it to, yeah. but it's coming. Yeah. Hey, hey Nikki, I, I don't know. You should be wearing a mask and a cape. You, <laughs> Nikki you looks like good. You, you're going in hard. <laughs> she is. She looks she said, phenomenal. She said, "No, I'm. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not play fighting like you guys are." Right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> She's the real She's deal. Serious about She's it. Doing the Zuma and, of course, you know, doing house house. Um, housewife duties and right. I know working she's busy she's a time. minister yes. working so I know you're busy and then you're doing a Zuma wow that's I, I, I gotta congratulate you on that yeah absolutely Nikki. absolutely very proud of you well, well we should thank call her you minister. Evangel- Evangel- evangelist Evangel- Turner I don't know if she got the big Turner. seat so maybe we should be calling her minister Turner you're minister right minister Turner so that <laughs> actually Uh-oh. I think that's what we're supposed watch to watch it <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know she was going to catch it. <laughs> oh, I caught it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, listen, what types of things are you cooking out? Is it when you're losing weight, one of the things that I find that's difficult is, as far as being a parent, you have kids in the house. So, you know, they want to have snacks. Right, and, right. you know, you can't deprive children because you're trying to lose weight. You know, I know for me, I didn't get this big, you know, overnight. It took some time. And so it's going to take a lot of work for me to lose weight. But in the meantime, I don't want my children to suffer. You know, I'm not saying that, oh, I can't eat Oreos, neither can you. So I have to make sure that there are snacks in the house for the baby still. Right, right. How about you, um, Evangelist Turner? What do you do to make sure that your family is also being fed healthy, but also not overdoing it, and then being a temptation to yourself? Well, what what we do, well, as you know, so some of you may know, you know, my husband's a diabetic. So by him being a diabetic, that, you know, makes me want to, you know, not eat like I used to and not eat some of the things that I used to. You know, all of my, ki- our, my kids are, you know, a little on the heavy side. So Mine's what too. I Except told them is I was like, you know, <laughs> we have too. to live. Right. You know, so yeah. it's basically, okay, you want a snack? We got fruit, you know, right. or, you know, here and there, my kids, you know, they'll get like a snack or something. But me, I'm when I see it, I have, I have it to where I don't want it. Like, mm. Certain junk that these kids eat, mm-hmm. I don't want it, you know. And I was never really like a snack food eater. Well, that's I was good always for you. like the boredom eater. I now, have one of those in my house too. It was always, oh, I'm bored. What I want to eat? Okay. Right, so right. I had to get myself out of that, and then all like the late night eating I had to get out of that. Right, right. You hey. know, it's from time to time I do want, you know. I, I, I want snacks from time to time, right. but you hey, know, hey, Nikki, sometimes, okay, Nikki, if it's not here, I'm not Nikki, going to eat. Hey, it sounds like you're preaching to us, so hold on for a second. <laughs> now, I'm going to let you do your spill. Now, you said all the good stuff, and we she, can do she that. She talking about she's shy we, all the we, time we, in church, though. We, we can do that. Now, check this out, Nikki. When, like, when I fell, okay, like, yeah. we, we're going to be a loser, and we're losing weight, me and, me and Cheryl, and, of course, one of us going to win. I, I know it's going to be me. me. But anyway. Mm-hmm. All right, so we lose weight. We're drinking our water. Right. We're eating lighter calories. We're walking, walking we like eat. you're doing. You Zuma, you're losing those calories, some of that weight, getting your body in shape. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm gonna tell you a failure night, and you got to tell me a failure. You and gotta I, be, and I've got you gotta be explicit too. with the failure, so we can show people when you fail, what can you do. And now, I, let me let me just set this yeah, up beforehand go, before go we ahead, go forward, go so people can follow us. Awesome. What we wanted to do in this show tonight was not only talk about the biggest loser but we wanted to talk about failures along the way right. so that people will be encouraged and understand that even though you are on a path to success it is likely and very possible that we may fall the bible says that a just man falls seven times so in just in one day you know right. so if you fall spiritually we're likely going to fall physically and so if you're going to fall in the natural then there's got to be a way for you to get back on that track. So tonight's show is also going to be an encouraging show right. to let you all know honestly that we also have failed this right. week. Let me take I know the mask off. Have. Let me take the mask so off. So let's reveal your failure, <laughs> Willie, the and then off. we'll have Evangelist okay. trying to reveal hers. And, and we're going to right, let you talk about the good points and then also reveal your what, what your failure and how right, you come All right, get to up. it. What you eat? All right, now, check this out. <laughs> what I ate was, oh, I went through the day and I did great. Okay. It's 10 o'clock at night. I'm in a house, and temptation is, woo, I'm okay. hungry. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I want something to eat. Yes. All right, so what I do, I, I, I fell because I go out, 
I um, go to McDonald's of all places. Uh oh. Right? Did you get a salad? Uh-oh. You got That's a salad, it. right? Uh, no. No salad. No, I didn't want no salad. <laughs> I got two Big Macs. Two Big Macs. Two Big Macs. Oh we. Right, exactly. <laughs> and we, and you know what? Doing the, the process, I've learned from experience. You're gonna have those failures, so you gotta right. those you gotta actually expect and put those in. And then how do I get out? Now, what did I do? After I ate those Big Macs and now it's in my stomach, I'm like, oh, you messed up big time, Willie. Yeah. Shell was going to win this thing because you can't even control yourself. <laughs> so what did I do? Got out the car uh-huh. and walked. First ran. I think I ran a, a few minutes, about 10 minutes. Okay. And then when I got tired, I walked. So I spent about 30 minutes to an hour walking. So that was the way to co- kind of mm-hmm. combat some of that. Of course, right. you, me doing that. Even an hour is not going to take away those two Big Macs. But what it does, Mm -hmm. let me tell you what it does. Mm -hmm. It makes me feel like I'm on the right path again. Right. I'm redeemed. It's just like us being saved. We do something. We go to the Father. We have have an advocate with the Father. We go, Jesus, Lord, forgive me. And then we go on living right or living like Christ wants us to do or being obedient to Christ, what Christ is telling us to do. So same with the, the losing, fasting, or... Um, lo- trying to lose weight, we now do something good. And now, when I go to bed, instead of those two Big Macs just sitting in my body because I walk and exercise, my metabolism going. So now right. I'm actually that two Big Macs is not just sitting there; it's being used as kind of like fuel when I was running, and my metabolism is working. So when I do lay down, my metabolism is still working. Mm-hmm. So those are the ways. That, of course, you know, I didn't now I didn't have a soda, so I did drink what I made sure. Okay, well that was a good thing. So you, you gotta kind of plan for those failures right. and what you're gonna do when you do fail. Now, okay, Nikki, you want Nikki to go? Yeah, on? yeah, Evangelist and, turn. I'm gonna have you go all next. Right. Um well, those well, talking this points. Is what and, I do. Okay. Like before before I decided, like, you know, enough is enough. What I did was, you know, I prayed, I said, you know, God, I know I want you to guide me to get through this. I said, I know I may stumble along the way, but I know he got me. Right. So what I do right. is, you know, my failure is like fried food. If you smell chicken, Lord, that's that's one of the things. Like <laughs> fried chicken is like the biggest. Like I can't smell it without wanting it. Okay. So you know what? I don't like completely be like, okay, you can't have it at all. Right. I may have a piece or two, right. you know. And once I do that, mm-hmm. you know, I'm able to, you know, get back on track. What I'll do is I'll just be like, you know what? Enough is enough. I got to, you know, keep moving forward. You know, I may eat it, but it's not like how, you know, people can eat like 10 wings and and be like, okay, I'm good. I don't do that anymore. You know, I just, what I did was uh, another prayer I would tell God is take the taste out my mouth to not want it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's another thing, you know. And when you see that, when you, stuff that you eat all the time and then you start eating it, and then you'd be like, I don't want this no more. That's God's way of showing me, like, okay, you wanted me to take the taste out of your right. mouth? I'm taking it out right. so you don't want it. Right. You know, I have did that a lot of times. So, you know, when I, you know, eat something I know I'm not supposed to have, and Lord, the holidays is coming up. So <laughs> when I eat stuff, I just, you know, today we talk about repentance. I just repent, like, Lord, you know, I'm putting it on the altar, you know. Yeah. Like, I know I don't need that chicken. But, you know, let's move forward. And next time, let me want some salad instead of the chicken. Right. Yeah, You know, right. that, that's pretty much how I do. Or I look in the refrigerator, you know. So hey. they, some people may think this is a little crazy. But if I want some chips, you know what I would do? I would eat ice. Ooh, so nice. Ice nice. Eater. So I would go ahead and eat some nice. ice. That's my crunchiness right there. All right. Okay. Hey, hey, now, Nikki. I'm fried after that. Hey, I Nikki. Like chips. Hey Nikki, I'm, I'm I'm not I'm not where you at yet because when I want some chicken, I'm going to eat some chicken now. Like you, instead of eating ten pieces, right? I probably only eat two, maybe three pieces, and then my thing is once I put it in, I got to work it out, and that's how I kind of do it. Like if okay, you fell, now you got to do something about it. So I usually somehow exercise, work it out. Um, so I, let me let me let evangelist. Um, so I will um, talk about, you know. All right. Well, I'll put mine out there. I'll put your business out there. Okay. I'll okay. do that Snickers okay. up there. Okay. So I got to throw the Heath bar up there, y'all. This is a, a Heath bar wrapper. I found this in my purse, right? Um, so I had a Heath bar one night when I went to class. 
and my rationalization for it was I wanted some chocolate really bad and so I tried to think what kind of what can I buy for myself that will satisfy that particular craving but maybe what I can do is count calories for the day I actually had pre-planned chocolate in my mind it was premeditated that's not bad so what I did was I looked at the calories on it I don't remember what it is now but I looked at it and what I did was I figured it in to how many calories I should be eating per day I did okay with that okay um and I ended up walking further I parked my car further in the parking lot. That's another thing. Yeah, I got I've that from you. <laughs> I got that I from you. You told me that. Wherever, yeah. So I parked further, um, but because I get out of class late at night, I had to, you know, be safe about it. But I parked further, and what I did was I walked the further distance inside the school building that night as well so that I had a chance to kind of walk and exercise it off. But tonight, y'all, oh, my gosh, I enjoyed myself what tonight. Happened? What happened? Oh. What happened? Oh, I caught my mom and I asked her, how do you make a meal? And my mom cooks everything from scratch. I mean, she can cook. My mom, they come from a family. These ladies, they can cook, right? So I decided, let me cook a real nice meal for my kids. You know, it's not just regular spaghetti or chicken and potatoes or something. So I made cube steak. Cube steak and rice and gravy. Oh, it was so delicious. Nikki, I killed it. It. If I would have came to your house, yeah, it I wouldn't have been good. I would have failed. It, you'd have failed back. I would have failed. But this is what I did. She told me cut them in half. She said don't have mm-hmm. the whole cutlets because they're nice sizes. She said cut them in half because normally what you do when you fix your plate is we fix our plates in a, inappropriately. We fix our plates with the meat first. You should fix your plate with the vegetables first. Mm. And then maybe add a little Sauté. bit of starch. Sauté vegetables? Yes, just a few vegetables. Okay. Or I had a salad. I had a great big salad oh, okay. tonight. And the salad had croutons in it. So, you know, my failure was the fact that I had the cube steak, the rice, the salad. Even though all that sounds good, it was the gravy that was in it. Okay. Um, it was the fact that I had the croutons in the salad. And then I had three peanut butter cookies, y'all. Oh, it was. <laughs> Okay, let me let me just say this. So, but that was all I did. I, I kind of think I kind of think even with that, mm-hmm. you were on the right track, mm-hmm. and you could have ate at any time. You could have ate that, but the portions mm-hmm. what matter. So you even with the gravy, like yeah. you said, you set the chocolate, the calories. I did that for the one right. day. Right. Well, you, you do the same thing with mm-hmm. every. You don't have to actually deprive yourself. Right. Portions. Portions. Um, right. The thing that you did though mm-hmm. on it was those three cookies. Now. Yeah. But now, the gravy but, and the croutons, now, I overdid it with the croutons. Right. Now, the thing with, <laughs> but the thi- but the thing with that, though, is um, let's say you do fail like we often do with right. three cookies. Yeah. Um, you do, instead of sitting down, yeah. you stand up. That's I another way. I went to sleep for an hour and a half. Well, see, now, see, now that's. So, but, well, that's but let me that's say bad. this. Let me, but let me right say this. That. The reason why I don't feel bad about it is because okay. the entire week I did not fail. Oh, so it was just tonight. Good. So I kind of feel like it wasn't a horrible failure. Mm. I just feel like, okay, mm, I really wanted these cookies. And in my mind, the way I feel is if you have a craving for something, go ahead and get it. Because we're not fasting. Now, when we're fasting, that's right. a whole different right. thing. Right. But because we're just working on a weight loss plan, if you got a craving for something, until we really get to where we need to be, get, the, get what you're craving for before you eat yourself into an eating right. frenzy. Eat it and be done with it, though. Now, I can't go back like, home tonight and eat more like, cookies. It's all over. Right, all right. Like the Bible, um, Pilate, Pilate said, you almost convinced me. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you almost. Peter, almost. <laughs> yeah, you, you almost. He was all in. Yeah. <laughs> you almost yeah, convinced yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat that. Eat that. Yeah, but that's fine. But it's fine. You, you need, but don't, for me, don't feel guilty. Because I, and I don't felt feel bad because I was anything. like, oh, man. I felt really. Because the whole week long. So, what I've been doing this week was I really took up what you said. You know, we've been fighting all week long, y'all. Talking about who's going to win the fight. But I listened to what you said. I've been eat uh, because my husband would tell me all the time, drink water before your meals. I never drink water. I don't do water, right? Right. And I'm like, you know what? I didn't want to listen to what he had to say to me. I didn't want to hear what nobody had to say. But I said, you know what? What he was saying was correct. And you said it. And I was like, here goes another person saying, drink water. And my doctor said it, drink oh, water. What you know, is good. And everybody's saying, drink the water throughout the day. Right. That, that is great. And and I've really been doing that. So how about yourself, Nikki? Are you good about drinking water or no? Well, in the beginning, it was horrible. I have a, um, a friend. She, she has her own um, fitness center. Yes. And she had um, came to me and she, you know, because I asked her for some advice and she was telling me about water. And I was like, oh my God, I don't drink water. Like, I mean, here and there I drink water, but it's just like, water, what? 
Mm-hmm. So what I did was, you know, you have to, sometimes you have to just pray to God about everything. Right, like, girl. Just, Tell you know, let it. me like, like water. Just the, just the little prayers is what count like. Yes. Let me drink a little bit of water. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I, I gradually, you know, learned to drink water. And, you know, actually... I actually like water now. Yeah. And then you had to think, back in the day, God didn't say, give me a pop. <laughs> Jesus didn't say, give me a pop. He didn't say, oh, I want that Kool-Aid. I want that right. juice. It was we all about that. water. Well, that, so, hey, Nikki, Nikki, that's you know, the same thing. Like, Go ahead. It was like, I had to, you know, I had I have to think of the other things. You know, pop is not important. You know, juice is not important. You know, here and there, I might have some juice. Right. I might have some pop. Right. But, you know, I right. don't, be like, oh Lord, I done messed up. I don't do that because awesome. it's me doing it for me. Awesome. You know, I don't have nobody down my back like, oh, you know, you're supposed to be losing weight. You know, you're supposed right. to be losing weight. You know, <laughs> I don't have nobody constantly saying that in my ear because, you know, folks can get, you tell them, oh, I'm on a diet, and the minute you eat, the yeah. candy, Girl, you know, say, oh, you're right about that, you Nikki. On a diet? That'd be like crucifier. Right. Killer. Crucifier. It's, right. It's, it's, the pulpit. it's the condemnation <laughs> it's the combination that kills you, actually. Yeah. That's why we, we try not to uh, make you feel guilty when you do right. air. But like you, Nikki, I prayed with the water at first with the water thing. Yeah, I, was I was used bad to about water. I was used to drinking juice and of course pop and all that. But I did the same thing. I pray, just like you prayed over the chair, I prayed about the water mm-hmm. and now God has given me a love for water. I realized how Right. What, and 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 did it, like the same thing. When it when it was time for me to drink pop, I was turned off by it. Right. So water, right. and 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 now I have a love for the taste of water. Every time I take it, it makes it feels like medicine. It feels mm-hmm. right. It feels, it feels like natural. It feels you can feel the cleansing right. going through your so body. Na- and you know what? Another now thing I is, use it as a weapon now. Right. And I actually, if you can see on the screen, I actually have a tiny bottle of water here. It's only eight ounces, and I buy these little small ones because this is one of the things that helped me to start drinking water. I couldn't start with, with the, the big, big ones. Right. You know, right. I think it it was mental. You know, so I just said, you know what? If I can just drink a couple of these. You know, maybe once or twice a day. And I know that that doesn't sound like a whole lot to say you're going to just drink eight ounces of water a day. Sometimes that's all you can do. And again, like I said, do what you can do today. We are here to encourage you all. If all you do is eat wrong all day long, add a bottle of water into that. At least add the water. Add the water. I'm not saying to change your diet. Even if you haven't, you're not ready to go on a diet. Add Add the water water first. Add Add the the water water and you will have less cravings. Two big tips I have to tell everybody Mm -hmm. water and walking is probably the two for me anyway i know it works for me water and walking so if you can like several if you can add the water Mm -hmm. like um nikki if you can just do instead of 10 pieces of chicken three pieces of chicken but add the water absolutely that's all you got to do add the water and then walk um you don't have to do like go out of your way to walking you can like shovels done park farther away right um if you can if you if you can uh, incorporate some great time like nikki has with the yuma what the what they call it zumba? zumba with the zumba do that what, right. whatever you can add the little those little things is what counts mm-hmm. if you could do those little things constantly so a little water housekeeping course, housework praying praying constantly like nikki was saying praying god help me help me lord that snake will look good <laughs> hey. help me <laughs> listen we be over here trying to rationalize the peanuts <laughs> right Oh, it's peanuts now, in there. Now, here's what we here's what we got going on, y'all. Here's what we got going. Let me sh- just show you what um show we got going. And we yes. you, you seen the water? Get some of the water. Right. Show them the grapes. <laughs> we got we got the, the grapes, grapes going we got on. Grapes here. Right? We got bananas. and we got bananas. So and we've got cashews around here. We got here. cashew nuts. So those are now our candy. Our kind of like guilt free candy. It is. It's nature's candy. I mean, it, it adds up. Oh, calories. we got raisins too. Oh, Somewhere and raisins here. too. Yep, so we, we got. got we got raisins. So if, if you're going to cheat, have these things around you. So right. when you do have that craving, throw in a you can throw in raisins. You can mm-hmm. eat a banana. And bananas full you. One banana That's will right. really full you. I know that. They, and they then grapes filling. can't have those things grapes around you. Really so you don't have to go for, for the two Big Macs or the Snickers or the ten pieces of chicken. Mm-hmm. Like you know, add those things. In. All right, y'all. Let me let's do this. Let me let's give you guys a break. We're gonna come back with more of the biggest loser challenge. Thank you, Nikki. Thank Stay you on the line. So much, don't, don't go nowhere because we having fun with you. <laughs> now, now, I, Listen, now, I, I, if, if I do get disconnected, I'll call you guys back because you know mommy duties never end. Like, I oh yeah, I know, I know, I know right. it. We know, we know. Stay on the line because you must didn't get, you must yeah. not have gotten my text message. Yeah, so stay, yeah, stay. I,